Hi, my name is Ludas Butkus and in today's video of What to Hodl, I'm going to be talking about Sonom. What it is, it is a supercomputer organized by network mining. If it should sound familiar if you are researching the crypto markets because it is what uh, Golem is planning to create as well. Uh, Golem is a higher market cap coin which has been in the markets for a while. It has increased in value a lot and it's still a quite big coin but they still don't have a product so the value of the cryptocurrency is slowly going down. Sonom on the other hand is going to be a competitor to them. Uh, to quickly go through the concept, uh, what it going to be is miners, people who have computers with GPUs, uh, will be able to join a network, uh, join the network of Sonom into a huge supercomputer and use their processing power for different kinds of tasks. Some of the use cases uh, that you can see are here. Uh, you can do side hosting, so decentralized uh, hosting. Uh, this is a very powerful thing and this will also drop the hosting prices because there will probably be uh, a huge network of miners and as more people join the prices of all these services will definitely go down. You will also be able to run applications on the network. Uh, there's also going to be capabilities of running machine learning, scientific research and even doing game servers on the decentralized network. Uh, another feature is video streaming which isn't too exciting because in my opinion YouTube will not be uh, competed with this feature. Uh, the platform I think is more important than just the features of decentralization. Uh, and lastly there will be video rendering. You will be able to uh, send your renders to the network and get your processed videos or images etc. So these are the use cases that they are aiming for at the beginning. Uh, as you know Golem has been in the market for a while as I already mentioned and they don't have a working product. Uh, Sonom on the other hand is planning to launch their product on August 2018 uh, so next year in the summer maybe it will be a little bit delayed but overall they have a clear plan of when they will be launching it. Uh, currently you can al already see the alpha release and try it out. Uh, it is the version 0 0.21. According to the roadmap, which I will show you, uh, they should already be on the version 0 0.3. Uh, at least working on it, on releasing it. Uh, if you want to try the version 0 0.2, you need to have some technical skills and you also should have a Linux server. These are all Linux commands that will help you to start mining and join the network and basically just try this out. So you need some technical skills, but this isn't yet the ready version for mass adoption. Uh, what I liked about Sonom is that they have a white paper and where they have all their technicalities written down and they also have a business overview where they talk about their financing, their dividend payments, their ICO, etc. Uh, we stopped at the use cases but a very important thing to cover is the architecture of this whole Sonom project. This is the main thing uh, that differ differentiates it from Golem. In their white paper they cover a lot of problems of Golem uh, that they are working to create. Uh, Golem is using Python, a programming language which is not very suitable for creating such a platform. 
and Sonom uses different technologies and different tools. Firstly, they will be using Ethereum smart contracts for well, basically making payments to miners and paying dividends, etc. They will also be using Fog computing, which is quite similar to cloud computing, but instead of sending to a cloud far away, they also want to implement Fog computing, which is basically if you have a task, uh, the Fog computing will try to get the computers in the close proximity. They will be using a Yandex that cocaine version, an open source platform as a service technology uh, where they will building this uh, whole platform for computing which allows a different kind of programming languages to be used uh, in, this, in this platform to launch applications etc. They will be using docker container which allows encapsulation so basically, if you are a miner and you don't really want to risk your computer as you would with, with Golem, uh, what it means that these there will be virtual machines that are encapsulated and closed out from the miner. Uh, so basically, you will not be able to harm uh, the miner's computer. For example, if there is a malicious computer computing malware being sent to Sonom, it will not be able to do any harm to the miners. They will also be using BitSync and Whisper, which is uh, BitSync is a peer-to-peer -peer system for fast and safe data transfer, which there will be a lot of data transferring, and Whisper a peer-to-peer -peer technology for node communication, basically for the miners to communicate. Uh, so Sonom, a marketplace for computer power, miners will be able to uh, use their CPUs, GPUs, uh, they also have plans for PlayStation smartphones and other devices to be able to join the network, uh, though uh, I'm thinking they will start with CPUs and GPUs because these are the main processing units used right now. And by basically, you will be able to use your computer to get paid for doing different tasks that the buyers send to the network. So this is uh, this is it that you can see on their web page. I also want to share a couple of resources from their white paper. Uh, the first one is a comparison table between Sonom, Golem, and uh, Xsec. Uh, these are the features basically of Sonom and it compares them to other competitors of theirs. So firstly Sonom has a anti-fraud uh, layer where for example if you are a miner and you are a malicious miner uh, you get the computations and you make false results. So basically the anti-fraud algorithm will uh, decrease your rating and you will stop receiving work. Uh, then there's the applications that can be run on these servers, game server support, site hosting services, hybrid peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, software as a service. Uh, basically I covered this, this stuff already. Messages API for communicating in the platform. Fog computation already covered what that is. Non-deterministic tasks basically means that you can run anything that you want on this supercomputer. Container protection, this is the layer protecting uh, the miners from malicious computations or, uh, or something like that. And container validation, basically how you will be able to validate data uh, there will be double, uh, how to say, double computations happening on the network. Uh, the next ones, uh, the doubling is to just confirm if the data is correct. Uh, load balancer for uh, for loading the balance on the computers on the miners. Service locator, data stream and pi pipeline, and a couple of other 
services that they will be providing. And next, what I want to share is the roadmap. Right now, there are right here in June 2017, the version 0 0.2 that you can try out. Um, right now, they should be at the version 0 0.3, but I'm guessing it is delayed a little bit, which was planned for September 2017. And there are a couple more releases planned. Then the next one is in March 2018. And the other one is June 2018. And the version 1.0, which is the public version for mass adoption, for mass usage, uh, is planned on August 2018. It might be a little bit delayed, but overall, we will probably see a working product from them the next year so which is kind of fast compared to other projects of similar scope in the in the markets right now uh, next they have some other uh, plans in the future of just developing this the platform even more uh, lastly, what I want to talk about is the price. Right now, the, the token is sold at 30 cents almost, which was the ICO price. Uh, it was sold for 30 cents and it was a, at a very low scope. Not sure why it's not. I will reload this. Uh, so basically, it is selling now at the ICO price. It has spiked up a little bit and went down again. So it is a good time to buy. Also, they are, will be paying dividends. It's kind of confusing in their business plan how they are planning to do that. But uh, uh, it's a good thing that they do. They will be paying dividends on for the token holders uh, which not a lot of tokens do uh, so you are getting something by buying these tokens and it doesn't seem to load um, but so if we can see the market cap is quite small it's 45 million and the golem right now the direct competitor in the cryptocurrency niche is sitting at 163 million. So if Sonom starts to grow and releases its product, it can quickly jump to this level of Golem. That would be four times increase in price. And it can even go higher because Golem was a lot higher I think at 500 million or more market capitalization so there's plenty of room to grow and if they are successful at what they are planning which we will see in a year's time or a little bit more uh, then this has potential to become a really huge cryptocurrency so this is something I'm looking forward to investing in. So, this is it for this video. Uh, to recap, Sonom is a very interesting project. They have, are using different technologies than Golem and they are planning to release their product much, much faster, which I like. So, I would kind of say this is a better product uh, than Golem. Uh, and I see them uh, going way higher than Golem in the future. So, this is it for this video. Uh, hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.